Wow, Daddy has put up two doors. I guess is this still considered a DIY if I'm not getting everything that you're doing? <laughs> I guess so. Wow. So this is the door, this is where I walk through? Yeah. Oh, it's so dark. Yeah, that's because I gotta move this. Put it away the door. Oh, okay. I get it. It won't close with that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be my office? Oh my goodness! Closet. Well, this is gonna be my closet door. Oh my goodness! I wanna go to my closet to put stuff right here. So then you are almost done with this, uh, my area. This is the before my room is completely done. My office husband painted the wall for me. He actually painted <clears throat> the ceiling and everything. He painted most of my wall. I have an accent wall that I'll be doing later today. So I just want to show a little before. Hi YouTube, thank you for tuning in to The Real e Shea. It's been a while since I've been on here. So, if you're looking at this beautiful metallic blue door, it used to be white. Here's how my old office used to look. And this is how my new office looked. So I've painted my door metallic blue to give the feeling of the ocean, um, the sky. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. Um, I have, as you can see, the doorknob has a tag on it called Flock Yeah. Um, this design was pretty much um, concept of the Ishe's logo, which is the baby blue color, along with pink. And I definitely wanted my office to stand out in color. Uh, my beautiful, lovely husband helped me paint the room and put up some of the hard things on the wall, such as that mirror there. It's very heavy. Now let's start actually from this side. So this here, pretty much the baskets you see there, I changed the color of the baskets just by spray painting them the colors that I wanted. I pretty much spray painted them the colors of my room. I wanted my room to be extra bright so I did the spray paint of the baby blue the gold and the pink baskets and you can get these baskets from the dollar store you don't have to spend that much on them you just paint it with um, spray paint and then you want to coat it with this here I coat all of my items with a sealer it doesn't necessarily have to be the Mod Podge one but this is the one that I got from Hobby Lobby and they also sell it at Walmart so let's go around the room because this is a brief DIY, a quick DIY of how I designed my room and how I got it to be so beautiful, okay? I love my office space. So if you can see the wall in the back, I use a metallic gold, which you can get from Menards. Menards, I think, is the only store that sells like um, extravagant, like high-end type of paint. And this is a paint that, you know, is very thick. And I wanted something that stood out. So here is actually my shelves. As you can see, I'm very into um, affirmation, spirituality, and just things to keep me uplifted. So I have my dream big book, enjoy the little things in life. And you can see this box here. These two boxes I designed pretty much. What I did, I had some two old boxes. Um, I think they had like a square print or something on them, like a... Um, some type of print but anyway what I did was I painted the bottom gold I spray painted the bottom gold and then I spray painted the top blue and then I have like a glitter speckle uh, spray you can get a glitter spray I'll put the link below from Walmart 
and once the blue dry I sprayed that paint on top of it to give it the glitter effect but the bottom part what I noticed you're not going to be able to use that glitter spray paint on the bottom because it's not going to give you this detailed glittery look it's not going to give you the full glitter look it's not going to do that so what you're going to have to do is take um, my potch and it's the same concept that um, you'll do when you're um, putting glitter on anything else like Timberlands or whatever like that I have plenty of videos up about glitter putting glitter on Timberlands so you'll get your Mod Podge you'll put it over the um, the gold paint you'll let the paint of course once you paint it dry then you'll put your Mod Podge on top of that and then you'll get your glitter of choice and you'll start sprinkling it all over the item once you do that you let it dry for a full day if you notice that there are some speckles falling off or a glitter isn't fully covering the box you just want to go over the same concept again put the Mod Podge over that glitter section and put the um, extra glitter on top of there and let it dry and once you're done you always want to seal any type of glitter work you're going to seal it with this again it doesn't have to be Mod Podge sealer it can be any sealer any clear sealer you want it to be clear so let's move to this. Actually, let's go back. You see my ch my shoe chair. I've had this shoe chair for a long time, but it didn't look like this before. It looked like this. And then I changed it to this so I pretty much didn't take off the fabric I what I did was I added my own fabric to the top of the old fabric which was the cheetah and I wanted something that was bright that went well with the chair because you can see the chair has the deep fuchsia pink color and this was the perfect fabric to go along with it so I pretty much um took transparent paper Cause I don't think I did a video on this. So I took transparent paper to get my, um, my pattern. Anybody who sews know that you have to have a pattern for anything. So in order to create your own pattern, you can use transparent paper, pretty much line it up to this using tape. And then you trace it with a pencil around the sections that you want the fabric to be. So I traced around this section and I pretty much cut it out, cut the fabric out, pin, Pin my pretty much what I did was I pinned my uh, pattern to the fabric, then I cut the fabric fabric out, and then what I did was I um, pretty much glued it on, fabric glue. You use fabric glue and you glue it on. And with the back part, I didn't have to create a um, pattern. What I did was just run around it with the fabric, and I glued it, and then I used this handy tool here. This this comes in handy. I use this to staple the fabric on to make sure that it didn't come off so get you one of these staple guns and now we're going to go to the beautiful shelf here and I'm gonna put a link up below as to how you can see how I did this because I did a DIY on this and I ended up using this beautiful thing too to keep the glitter on because these are actually glitter sheets it's not glitter it's glitter sheets so if you want to see how I made that, click the link below and you can see that I have some affirmations here. Pretty much I have dream big, be positive, stay hopeful, enjoy love and continue to grow. And I have painted them the colors of my room with the center being um, some glitter. So I did the same concept as I did with the box. I painted it gold first, then I went over it with the Mod Podge and put the glitter on top of it. And so now let's get into this chair here. Now this chair, this chair used to be pink and gold, a hot fuchsia pink and gold. So it was getting so old by me designing, I was getting spray paint speckles all over it. So I say, what can I do to make it girly? And as you can see, I have some fur some fur rugs which I'll put a link up below to where I got the rugs from they actually sent them on eBay so you should see the bottom of this the seat is fur and that's all it is is a rug I took a rug I put it right there on the bottom of the seat and I use this bad boy 
right at the bottom so it could be secure and stable. I painted the very bottom of the chair powder blue to go with the color scheme of my room. And then I painted the back. I hand painted it with the same paint I used for the wall. I painted it on, I painted that to the back. But you wondering how I got the glitter speckles is that I actually got some glitter glue. You can use glitter glue, you guys. And I found this beautiful glitter glue here from Hobby Lobby. Can you see this? I'm not sure if you can see it. It's looking weird on my camera. Excuse me, I have a cold too. Um, yeah, so these, this, uh, you can't really, you can't really see it, but you can see, I'm, I'm gonna give a close up on the chair. These are different color specks of glitter that was put, I put on the back of the chair to blend in with the gold. And you have to allow this thing to dry about three days. It took three days for this to dry. But the way that it came out, I am so happy. I love this chair. I love it. And I sit in this chair when I'm doing like um, designing at the table and stuff like that. And so as you can see, in fact, before I get any further, I will be doing a raffling. So anybody who is getting married, if you can remember, I did this box in 2016 for my wedding. And it's been a long time. The box is dirty. I have to clean it off, but I will be raffling this box. So I will have to spray paint the box. So leave your colors below. It has to be a dark color to cover up um, some of the dirt marks that has gotten on this box that can be removed. The only thing about this is that you, whoever wants this box, wherever, whoever I picked, what you'll have to do is leave your color of the box that you want. So the color of the box, the color of the ribbon, the color of the flower, and why should you be chosen, and why do you like the Real Ishe YouTube channel. So... Once you leave all that below, I'll pick the person, I'll send you an email, I'll contact you, and I'll let you know, hey, I need $20 in order to ship this to you because you're going to have to pay $20. This thing is heavy and it's big. And then you have pretty much a free box because if you look online to see how much the money boxes and the letter boxes for weddings cost, they're quite expensive. Most of them are over $100. So... Whoever gets this will be a lucky person. They'll get a design from Ishe's. Um, another thing, what else did I want to show you in this room? Oh, I wanted to show you, which I'll be doing a DIY on, is the canvases. So if you want some um, custom, unique artwork, pretty much you can just get a blank canvas from Hobby Lobby or any of your art craft stores. You can create your own art here by painting the colors that fit your room. I added some colors to a, a painting that was already done, but I added the pink, the gold, and the blue to it so it could go with the concept of my room. And then as you can see here, this is the e Shades logo. So one of the logos. So what I did was I used my heat press. I put the image that I wanted on there using the dark paper for the heat press. And um, what I did was I painted the bottom of it the same color as the picture itself. And I'm actually currently working on this one. And I think this is what I'm going to do in the DIY. And I can show you exactly how I did this one. I'm pretty much trying to blend the colors in with the um, heat press print. And this is going to also go on my wall. So, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have my baby blue garbage, which I actually painted. It was initially white. And I'm not sure if you need to see a DIY on that. But if you want to see one, just leave a comment below. Again, if you want this here... This box, leave below. And I'm actually going to also be raffling off the Chanel 3 pictures that I have posted from my other room, which I'll put here. I'll show a picture of it right now. So if you also, anybody who wants those three Chanel pictures, what you need to do, and you won't have to pay for shipping. Well, well, yeah, you know what? You could pay for shipping. You're going to have to pay for shipping. You're going to have to pay $5 for shipping because it's going to cost about I think it'll probably cost about $8 for me to ship it. So $5 for shipping if you want the Chanel. If you want the Chanel three posters, $5 for shipping. And leave below your name, 
what you like about the Ishay's YouTube channel and why you think you deserve the three Chanel posters, wall posters. Okay? Thank you so much for tuning in to this quick tutorial, this quick video about my new office space. Again, leave those comments below if you're entering the raffle. And as always, have a creative, peaceful day. Bye-bye.